page 15 quadrille you can google quadrille and find read all about it it's a fun happy piece let's look it over it's four lines long but with the repeat sign it's going to be twice as long treble and bass clef no sharps or flats in the key signature so it's in the key of c major make sure you can do the c major scale and in my opinion you should be doing it two octaves up and down now i got a video on it you know what to do three four time it's a quadrille makes sense and it has a pickup beat so we're coming in on beat three hmm? okay actually you have a pickup beat on each section you see the first two lines is a section and the second two lines is a section well there's a pickup beat to to the second section too but if you look at the end of each section there's only two beats in that measure those measures we're fine every measure's got three that's good enough let's check the notes and rhythms and all right hand you're actually here in this position to start, not staying here, but you're starting here. And it's three, one, and two, and three, one, two. Well, isn't that fun? Let's go down to measure nine on the pickup. So three, one, two, and then reach up. And that should be a fourth finger on the E, not three. This, let's take the four notes together, those four quarter notes. Start with the last note in measure nine here. And the next three quarter notes here. That is a C chord in second inversion, and that is the fingering for it. And it's fourth finger, up, not third. Some people teach three. Please don't. It's fourth finger. So it's. And then reach down. If you don't want to reach down here, going on. If you can't reach it, you can go ahead and play it with thumb, but put fourth finger on the next one. You just crunch up, and then come down again. That's fine if you want to do that. Or if your band's big enough, you can reach down. If your hand's not that big, you got to use thumb. Just make sure you're using fourth finger on the next one. Left hand. Well, the left hand's got the drums. It's just keeping it going steady. Just chords. C chord. A little later, the G7 chord. The C chord. That's, that's about all you're doing there in the left hand. So put them together. It's here. is fun. You put it together and then get rid of the hesitation so it's a steady beat. Then we'll think about the articulation. Here it's a short staccato, so hinging at the rhythm. Left hand hinges at the wrist, short staccatos. And when I'm doing this, that's a very little motion. I'm not coming way up. It's a very little motion. That's all you need. Kicker is, can you get all the notes down at the same time? I don't, but maybe you can. Oh. So to... Now on the pickup to measure nine here. I slurred it at the beginning, the pickup. So I'm going to go ahead and slur this too. I'm going to slur those first three notes together. Here. Music doesn't show that, but I feel that's really a, a more appropriate. I'm going to stay consistent like I did at the beginning, so I'm going to slur the pickup note into the next note. That's a, pretty much the articulation. And then the dynamics, forte is loud, and it goes to the melody, which is the right hand. These chords need to be soft. Keep them in the background, and that's going to be a trick, because the tendency is going to be, as you're playing these, they're going to get loud going to get loud. So make an effort. Listen very carefully. Be aware of what's going on. Keep these chords soft. Even though it's loud. No, keep the chords soft. Yeah. Now when you get to measure nine or pick up to measure, now you're soft. The chords should be very soft. I will mention back in the right hand on measures 10 and 11, you're going here. Because it's staccato, you got time to come down here because of the staccato. But when I first learn a piece of music and I'm figuring out the fingering, I play everything connected. I want a fingering that works connected. Then that's why I said here. Uh, 
you, you, with the staccato, you couldn't do that, so it's whichever. Just be consistent in whatever fingering you're choosing. Don't keep going back and forth. And then next, the speed. Allegretto is just a fun speed. Just between Marato and Allegro, just... It's just a fun speed. And then, of course, the repeat signs, you're playing everything twice. play this together very very slowly and double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm tempted to leave out the left hand because you can do these chords but I'll go ahead and play them but I'm going to play them very softly. Otherwise I'm not doing any dynamics. I'm just going to play it all about the same but I'm going to keep this left hand really soft because you need to hear the right hand. I'll give us two counts because we come in on beat three and we will do the repeats the whole bit. Ready, go. Pete. 